Hello, everybody. I hope you are doing well today. We're going to be doing something, well, I don't know, different maybe, sort of, but it's just another experiment. So kind of not different, but different in the sense that it is a different experiment. So I'm going to be using this team again because it doesn't really matter, honestly, but it does have to be created players because I'm pretty positive you can't change this stat for actual players. Could be wrong, but I think I've heard that you can't. And on top of that, um, what was I going to say? I've already lost, I completely lost my train of thought already. Anyways, I've set all these players to have a 0 out of 15 shot pass bias. So, yeah, I think this is actually the opposite way that I want it, but I'm going to do both. I want to see what happens when everybody wants to shoot the puck, and then I'm going to flip it and see what happens when everyone wants to pass the puck. So... Yeah, that's uh, that's about it. And I, is this stat relatively new? Because I think I remember sort of finding out when I was creating a player. I'm like, wait a second, I haven't seen that before. And then I believe one of the comments said it was pretty new. So yeah, I think this stat or this attribute, shall I say, is new-ish anyway. So yeah, the first year of simulation, everyone's going to want to shoot the puck. That's pretty much what this is set to right now. And then we will come back and we will set it so that everyone wants to pass the puck and see, honestly, how much of a difference it makes, if at all. I think it obviously should because the amount of shots they take will change drastically, or in theory it should. We are indeed going to have to randomize a team to withdraw from this year's NHL, so I'm going to stop and we get San Jose. The Sharkies let us replace them with custom teams. I have quite a lot, but it's Cincinnati. So let's put the Cubs in there, and we're not going to do any division realignment or anything like that. We are just going to turn owner mode off. Don't want you to edit my lines. Fog of War, I mean, really it doesn't matter that much. Player morale, I'll turn that off as well. And I think that's pretty much all we have to do. I'm going to do the best lines, and I'm going to turn injuries off. Again, sort of like the other experiments, I want to try and eliminate some elements of randomness, so... Turn off the injuries and advanced settings. I don't want all those like waiver notifications and stuff. So in the odd case that it is a star, go ahead and let me know. Otherwise, stay away from me. And everything else should be okay. Yeah. So I'm just going to sim up to the regular season because we don't really care about the preseason. Sorry. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. And final one, scout assignments. All right. So... Allow me to edit the lines, because our jabroni assistant coach is not going to... No. I was just talking about you. No. So, this is the best lines, apparently. It wants negative one on the first line. Can I just... Like, come on, man. Why is that the best lines? There's got to be literally anything you can do. And it looks like not really. Alright, well, I guess I could do this. But then we'd have Mr. One Ability on the first line, and Mr. X Factor... Well, screw it. I'm going to do it anyway. Give me that zero chemistry, and then I'll just try to remember to do that for the next team as well, but I don't think it's going to be that important. Yeah, there we go. So, goalies, we have Neuberth and Dubnik. All right, so everyone wants to shoot, and we are going to find out how that's going to work. Okay, we're off to a pretty good start. We're off to a very good... We are off to a phenomenal start with everybody wanting to shoot the puck. Montreal dishes us our first loss, and then we lose to the Jets, but we are right back on track. Oh, no, New Jersey! Oh, Calgary, what are you doing? We got the better of the Jets this time, though. Love to see it. Well, the Cubs are doing pretty good when everyone wants to shoot. I wonder if it's really going to make that much of a difference in the shots category. I suppose we will find out when looking at the season statistics, but overall, the team is doing quite well. Yeah, we are on a bit of a tear here. 38, 10, and 1 going into the break here. And now we've got the Islanders. There we go. Another big 4-1 win. Oh, yeah. We're at 41 already. We're going to be <laughs> definitely winning the President's Trophy once again because this Cubs team is simply too good. All right. I believe that... How many wins did they get in the last video where we were just testing that stat? I can't recall. Anyway, the playoffs don't really matter, so I'm going to just go through them now and see how that turns out. If we do end up winning the Stanley Cup or not this time. Yep, continue. We got the Oilers. 
in round number two. And we have the Avalanche in the conference finals. Oh, oh, oh man, we got put out by the Avs. All right, well, let's go look at the player stats for the year because that's really all we're interested here in. All we're interested in here. There we go. 223 shots. And let's see, is he the most? No, we got 239 from this Joe NHL. And he put up 74 points. So, that's quite a lot of shots, but there's also some people... Like, Joe NHL, he's a forward as well. He might have been on the fourth line, though, so maybe he didn't have the most minutes in the world. Uh, no, time on ice per game, 15 minutes. That's actually pretty good, and for some reason, he still just didn't shoot the puck. That is very strange. But anyways, we basically have above 200 shots for the whole first page here, and we have some defense as well. Oh, my. Uh, 229 shots was a defenseman, and he had 68 points. boy, Joe! And only a 6.6 .6 shooting percentage, but we have a... Oh, I see a 14.5. 19.7! Wow, that's pretty good. And then 19.2? Yeah, those guys are pretty accurate, apparently, or they only shoot when they know they're going to score. So, those are the stats for the team that likes to shoot. Maybe we could check the playoff stats, too, just to see how they measure out. All right, here are the playoff stats. So, the most shots for the playoffs are 47, and that's a defenseman. 7 points, 6.4 shooting percentage, and then a 27.3 shooting percentage for this guy. 12 points in 15 games. Out of B. It's pretty solid. Pretty solid. All right, well, now let's go ahead and flip the switch. Let's go see what happens when nobody wants to shoot the puck. Well, apparently. And now time for the tedious process of going one player at a time. Going down to their attributes, waiting at that loading screen. And shifting the shot pass bias all the way up. Yep. All right. I am nearing the halfway point. Let's keep it going here. And this is the last mad lad. There we go. 15 out of 15. Well, let's hop back in and... Well, I guess we're going to have to sub out a different team this time. But everybody does not want to shoot this time. Everyone wants to pass it. So let's see if... Uh, the shots category is actually really affected or not. Which team will be removed this time? Find out in a matter of sec- Now! Oh, Toronto. All right. See ya. Boom. Custom teams. Let us find Cincinnati. There they are. All right. I want your predictions. Well, you can think it or you can comment it and edit the comment after or whatever, but what are you thinking? Do you think it's going to make a big difference or no? Because I genuinely have no idea what to expect. Uh, player mail, I'm going to turn that off and I don't want you to edit my lines. Okay. Continue. And obviously I need to go turn off injuries and such. I'll try to get the lines to match what they were before as well. So that way, yeah, it's as close as we can get it. Here we go with the second simulation. I guess it also... Well, it doesn't really matter what division they're in, honestly. I guess it, it's sort of a completely separate scenario. But we're just kind of looking at how many shots they take anyway. So it's not, you know... The end of the world and how many wins they get shouldn't really be that affected but let's go ahead and what was i going to do edit the lines that's right it's normally the first thing you do after simming okay so no and best lines is it going to give me i don't get this game so i have no idea what the lines are going to be now then because well it's probably because of the coach all right it all makes sense now but anyway yeah um this one's not going to be as consistent, but I don't think it really needs it. Yeah, that's the team. Goalies, we're good. All right, so let's go see how many shots these guys take. So once again, the team is doing quite successful here. We are 25-8-1 as of, well, not anymore we are not because we played a couple more games there. But either way, yeah, the team is doing well as expected. I am very curious to see how the shots compare. If they're about the same, I'm going to be questioning if that stat really does anything. How many wins did the last team get? It was 63, maybe? Or 62? Something along those lines? <laughs> was that the guy's number in Waterboy? I'm trying to remember, because the way I said that was like 62. I don't know if you've seen that movie, but it's pretty good. So it looks like the amount of wins is going to be quite similar. But, as a matter of fact, I believe they did get more with 65. Yeah, I'm pretty confident. 
Once again, actually, I'm just going to sim past the playoffs because they do not really matter. Here we go. Are we going to get deleted in round one? No, we aren't. We beat the Crapitals. Round two, Flowrider. Oh, yeah? Nice. Five games. We got Montreal in the conference finals. And that is... Are you kidding me? The Jets in the finals. Okay, so apparently, if you're biased to not pass the puck... Wait, if you're biased to not shoot the puck... Yeah, then you're better. Okay, so let's look at the shots here. And it is definitely different because... Everybody here was pretty much 200. The whole page was basically 200. And that is not quite the case this time around. We only have two players above 200. Let's check the shooting percentages. Oh, that's higher as well. 20.5 and 20. 18. All right. So, very interesting. Very interesting indeed. And if we have a look at the playoff stats, shots, the most we had on the team was 60 shots. In 22 games. And then we had a 13.3 and... Oh, sorry. Actually, let's... Yeah, 19.4, 17.2, 16.7. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Actually, that was... That's pretty interesting. So, they definitely do shoot less. But they were still able to dominate. Huh. Well, I don't know. Do with that information what you will. I think it's kind of interesting. And at least you know that that slider actually works and does something all right guys well thank you very much for watching the video i hope you did enjoy it hope you're having a great day night morning whatever it is for you whenever you're watching this video just have a good that and i will be seeing you soon